Hello and welcome to my 10th video log on Tim. Um, sorry about the delay between the la this and the last log, but I've been trying to get this capacitor memory to work. And um, only last night when I went back to look at it, having got a whole new burst of interest in Tim, um, I found that just one of the capacitors in the addressing hardware was too small a value, so it wasn't reading in properly. So now I have completed the memory, which is up here with its loading circuits all nicely working. Um, just to demonstrate it, I've got a little test program that basically loads a byte into the first, well, it loads 205 into the first um, memory section, and then reads that out, loads into the next one, reads that out, loads into the next one continuously and goes, just loops through reading data from one memory location to the next and if there's an error it'll accumulate and so it'll just tell me where the error is in somewhere in the memory, there's an error somewhere in the memory if one of the lights go out but for the moment it should be working, it has been for the last few days so I should have, well, last few times I've tried it anyway so I'll just try sticking it in, see what happens And there you go, read it all with no errors, assuming it doesn't eat the cake. Yep. And then I'll just continue doing that. So, ba so basically, that's just showing going through each memory location and loading from it. Um, switch up. Okay, let's get the tape out. Um, so yeah, that's just to show it's working. I've also got another little tape here that just erases everything from memory because this memory can still, or I've had it still load in data that was um, loaded to it 24 hours before. So I'll load out data that's been loaded to it 24 hours before. So it needs a special clear command which just loads it into the register, well, just powers the relays in the X register but doesn't actually lock it in. So it Drain, draws a lot more current, but it still takes a few loops through to clear it. But you can see each time it will get slightly dimmer when it loops to the bottom LEDs. It only needs about four loops through, really, before it goes too much. Get rid of that paper. So, yeah, that's all I really want to show on, on the memory, or the capacitor memory, just that so it's working and that there'll be some interesting programs involving that shortly, hopefully. Um, but the next new development for Tim will be um, this here, which is a dip switch based ROM. I'm not going to hold it up properly yet because it's not actually sold onto the board. But where that's going to be placed is that's going to be cut out and put there. There's going to be a hole cut in the top there, and this is going to be bolted to the bottom side. And basically, what that will mean is that. Um, You'll have a byte of, well, you'll have a nibble of data in, say, the D register, which will address one of these um, dip switches. So basically, it's a lookup table. So you send it um, four bits, a four-bit address, and it'll send you back a piece of um, a, a byte of data. This this can be used for things like um, seven segments displays and stuff. So you just Code this, so you just code on where all the LEDs need to go on on the seven segment display and say so that was 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 so you just send the number 0 and it would send back the seven segment display output which you plug into the external hard hardware port um, and so yeah that's easy enough it'll in, um, it shouldn't take too much extra hardware because I'm routing it through the um, through the RAM the RAM's um, <laughs> What's it called? Multiplexer. That bit there, you can't really see it. Oh no, that bit is upside down. That bit there is the RAM's multiplexer. So to save on relays, because I've only got like 20 left, I'm using the same multiplexer. But the RAM, the RAM requires a negative power going to it to read for, read from it, whereas this requires a um, this memory requires a positive line going to it. So the way I'll, the way I'll do it, it will just flow the power will flow 
over the top of the ram and but because it's positive it won't go through the diodes and it'll go into this and load the bike from this instead whereas this will have a whole load of dials on it stop it from, load, from doing anything funny to it when you put a negative current to it so basically instead you you just select between this and the RAM by using positive or negative current on the um, through the multiplexer which saves a lot of relays it means I can do the whole thing in about the whole address hardware for this in about 10, 14 relays I can't remember what the actual number was I did work it out but that's probably not going to be around for a while because I'm going to do some proper programs on this first um, for example one, one little program I'm thinking of is say so you can plug in a matrix keypad this is this is actually just a bit of old hardware with a matrix keypad on but um, I'm going to get that off and find, attach one there you can quite I, I worked out it's actually quite easy to do matrix keypad scanning on this so you'll be able to theoretically when all this is done you can just for example press 2 on the matrix keypad and it'll come up on a 7 segment display on the front of Tim and then you can do calculations with it well assuming you don't run out of memory first um, so you can look forward to some interesting prog programs hopefully I've um, since done a fast multiplier for because in a few, a few vlogs back I showed you a multiply a multiplying program and um, since that I've done a fast multiplier which does uses an actual proper multiplying ag algorithm rather than just doing it by brute force of adding them all together and that does it in uh, Eight, eight loops, just eight loops, regardless of what the number is. But I can probably shorten that down, still, still more, depending on the size of the number. But it's just trying to avoid using the memory for actual calculations, and because this, even this one, just used a single, single byte of the day, one of the day, uh, sorry, one of the memory addresses to um, store the data in whilst, whilst doing the calculations, which shouldn't really do. So. Um, but yeah, I'll improve that and then show you a video of it. I've also improved the Mary Had a Little Lamb song, so I can, or the program for that, so I can do that. And I won't go on too much more like I normally do, because there's nothing more interesting really to say. Um, by the way, I thought I might just say thanks to Hackaday for um, getting my publicity on Tim up by about 500%, um, and hi to all the new subscribers from there. Uh, so yeah, hopefully I can do that justice and keep going and put up some more vlogs. Um, so yeah, I'll leave you with that. See you next time.